Hey friends, it's V. Welcome back to my kitchen. I still haven't gotten this set up yet, but that's okay because the best lighting is right here on my kitchen floor. Anyways, in today's video, I want to talk about mindset and mastering your 3D or your reality what you're currently living. So on my other video, I talked about affirming what you want and focusing on the positive things, not on the negative. Even if you're having a crappy day, focus on only the positive things. And when you only focus on positive things, positive things come. Whatever you focus on grows no matter what, no matter if it's neutral, positive or negative. So the mindset portion I wanna talk about is no matter how rough your day is, if you are really focused on changing your reality and having a certain thing or being a certain type of person, you need to persist through the negative things that are happening. This is how I have been able to manifest much faster or change a personality trait of mine or anything that I've wanted, the way I've been able to get through it is to the fastest way to get an outcome, the fastest way to change anything, the fastest way to get something that you want is to persist and control your thoughts and emotions. If you are an emotional person, if you can't control your thoughts, how are you going to get anywhere in life? You need to be in control of your thoughts and emotions, regardless of whatever you want. I can probably guarantee you that every single successful person can control their emotions and their thoughts very well. They probably have fantastic control of it because, because that is discipline. And discipline is what gets you places, not inspiration, not motivation. Yeah, it comes and it goes. Discipline stays because you discipline your mind and you will do it even when you don't feel motivated. Even, even if you're feeling down or shitty, discipline is what gets you through. And a saying that I tell myself when I'm having a shitty day or something really crappy happens, I tell myself, how bad do I want it? How bad do I want this? Thing. How bad do I want to be happy? How bad do I want to have a good day? How bad do I want to have a good workout? How bad, whatever, fill in the blank. How badly do I want to feel better? I will literally block out every negative thing and just think about how bad do I want it? My day is going great. Everything is going great. I have energy. I'm going to the gym. Maybe I feel like shit. I have energy, I have energy, I have energy, I'm going to the gym, I'm gonna have a great workout. I will literally repeat these things in my head because I have discipline. Discipline, control your thoughts and emotions. This is what discipline is. It doesn't have to be hard. You can literally sing in your head like a banshee and it helps because let's face it, we're all not gonna be Every day we're not gonna be motivated and inspired to get what we want. And this isn't just about the law of attraction, law of assumption, manifesting things. This is anything in general. Maybe you're the type of person that always feels like shit every single day. And you have tried every single thing you can to feel better, to feel energized and nothing's working. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, most of my life I've been there, always tired all the time. Do you know what I've done that has completely changed this? And this is besides medical advice. Waking up, telling myself I have energy even when I feel like shit. I don't care. I just keep persisting in the thought because I want to feel better. So I tell myself I feel good even if I don't because this is the only thing that's gonna change it. When you change your mind and decide, nope, this is how it's gonna be, then you will get that outcome. That's like in business, in the business world as well. If you keep trying five times, fall down, 10 times, fall down, the 11th time you say, okay, it's not gonna work. You just give up. 
What if you persisted and on that 12th time, you became a fucking billionaire, but you lost your motivation and your inspiration and you didn't have the discipline to keep on pushing. That's the difference. When you feel like you're failing, but you push through no matter what, that is discipline. And this is literally the world of difference for whatever, whatever your situation may be. So for me, I've used this saying in so many aspects of my life and it is, <laughs> some days it is a challenge, but persistence and determination and discipline will get you through anything, okay? I'm gonna give an example of me feeling like crap the other day. Um, I actually woke up feeling re really sick and tired and I didn't know why and um, I used to get migraines at least four times a month like severe three-day migraines and my medic I was taking a lot of medication now I only get migraines like every once in a while but I was feeling like really crappy with the migraine and all this stuff and normally I have to take like triple the dose of things and I decided nope I'm only gonna take quarter of the dose. I'm gonna feel freaking great. I'm gonna go do cardio at the gym and I will feel so energized for the rest of the day. And I felt like crap. Like I was arguing with myself in my head. Like half of me was like, you're an idiot. You need to take the full dose. You need to sleep all day. You're gonna feel like crap. You're gonna feel worse if you go to the gym. And I was like, no, no, no. I'm gonna feel good. I don't need the full dose. I will feel good. I feel good. I'm energized, I'm energized, I'm energized. And I'm not joking. I probably said it a billion times in my head. I'm energized. I feel good. I don't have a migraine. I feel amazing. I feel refreshed. I'm excited to go to the gym. And I just kept repeating this. Like I did not allow for a second any other thought in my head and I'm like <laughs> halfway through cardio and I'm like, oh my God, I feel good. And then I just like couldn't stop the cardio. Like I felt amazing. I don't know what happened. I've never been able to do that before. Um, migraines have been like the hardest thing for me in my entire life. But the discipline that I just kept telling myself, I am going to feel good. My body eventually responded because it's like saying you're sick where you can't do something. Your body will listen to you. You're in charge of your body. And it's so incredible to realize that we actually have so much more control over things than we think. Like procrastination, for example. Another example. People, it's common, like university students be, oh, I'm such a bad pro procrastinator, blah, blah, blah. That's because you tell yourself. But if you're disciplined, you won't have that problem. At first, yes, it's hard. Discipline, to discipline yourself, it is hard because you need to take control and push through the hardest moments. But when you do, it's so gratifying because you're the only person that can do this. No one else is gonna do these things for you. So if you're trying to start your own business or maybe like get your business off the ground or anything, whatever it is, you need to have discipline if you wanna be a successful person. Business, school, career, love, relationships, manifesting, anything. If you want to be successful in anything, discipline, determination, willpower. We aren't born with these things. Well, some people are, but most of us aren't. We need to create this ourselves. We need to have the discipline to do it. Habits, create habits. This is why habits are not easy to make they're also not hard to break because it's a repetition cycle that we need to either implement or de-implement <laughs> i don't know the word but once you get through the hard part being disciplined it gets easier because it's like exercising your brain that's exactly what it is actually your brain is a muscle too is it i don't know but you can exercise your brain and make your willpower stronger just by doing little things like persisting in positive thoughts or affirmations. When you have some stupid ass comment come up in your head, tell it to shut up. Tell it that you're the boss. You are the boss of your mind and 
you're gonna tell it to F off and then you're gonna replace it with a different thought. This will change your life in all aspects. For example, you wake up feeling like crap. So you have like three cups of coffee or something. And while you're sipping your coffee, you're like, this day's gonna be shit. Tell that thought to go F itself. And you say, no, I'm gonna feel so good today. Today is gonna be fantastic. And maybe for the first three hours of your day, you feel like crap but you don't let those thoughts come in. You tell yourself, I feel good today. I am motivated. I'm gonna get shit done today. I feel good. Even if you're like, like you don't feel good. I feel good. I feel good. I'm getting shit done today. I'm energized, I'm energized. Keep repeating, persist. And a couple hours later, maybe even a couple minutes, I don't know, you will feel better. Worst case scenario, you, exercised your willpower your willpower and your discipline and you've leveled yourself up but we're not talking about worst case scenario here we're talking about best case scenario you actually have a friggin amazing day you feel so good in a few hours you are proud of yourself that you were able to create a much better day and you actually had the power to do so you had the power to feel better and have an amazing day you're proud of yourself that you took charge of your life and you exercised your discipline and willpower. You exercised your brain power and you showed yourself, you showed your mind, your subconscious that you're the boss. How awesome does that feel? But you need to persist. That is the key. Persistence. Repeat that positive, positive shiz in your brain not easy no but is being disciplined easy no is it worthwhile and so gratifying and rewarding yes it's so worth it so keep on your discipline keep on persisting Show your mind, show those stupid negative thoughts, your ego who is boss, because you're boss. You're boss in all aspects of your life. Show your life that. Create whatever you wanna create. If you don't feel like your business is doing well, but it's something you love to do, and everyone's telling you like your business sucks, it's not going anywhere, anywhere persist show them that your business will be successful tell yourself that show yourself prove to yourself that you can do it because you know what you can whether you believe you can or you can't it is true it will become true that's enough of my little be disciplined rants i hope it helps if you have any stories of disciplining yourself and how you were able to change, maybe, I don't know, anything. You didn't believe in yourself, but you stayed disciplined and you had like an amazing outcome of something. Let me know in the comments below. I love reading your guys' comments. And when you put good comments down below, other people see that and they get inspired too. And you know what, let's just have this community here to inspire people, to lift people up, to excite people and help one another like let's just help build each other up and become the best versions of ourselves because we all deserve to live our dream life and just enjoy it because really life is here for us to create and enjoy and explore and be fun we were not I repeat, we were not fucking born to work a nine to five job for our entire life and never get out and explore, never have time for our kids and be depressed. No, that is not what we were born for, no. Unless you love your nine to five job, that's a different story. But we were meant to enjoy life, to experience things, okay? And each and every one of you can create that life for yourself. You can have a good life. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the video. 
If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe down below, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.